everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you five books that I think would make for fantastic book club books. And I'm trying to do a variety of genres because I know there are so many varieties of book clubs out there that people join, whether you're more of a mystery fan or a contemporary fiction fan or more of that like hard hitting literary fiction fan, trying to kind of give you a variety. So based on the book club you're a part of, you have a recommendation here that maybe would be a good one to bring up to your fellow members. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start talking about the books. The first book I have for you is for the mystery fans and for the book clubs that focus on more of the mystery or thriller novels. So the first book is, of course, And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, an ultimate classic, one of the most well-known, most popular whodunits. And Then There Were None is my favorite Agatha Christie novel. And I think probably her most popular. Uh, so if you haven't read it, if if by some miracle, no one in your book club has read this book, this would make for a fantastic book club book because the way that Agatha Christie executes on this whodunit is so masterful. And the way she ties it back to an old nursery rhyme that you may or may not be familiar with is so clever. The setting of this one is fantastic, the atmosphere of it, and I just think it would be so much fun to discuss it with other people and see who they thought the culprit was, who they were leaning towards at different parts of the story, the different characters and their dynamics together, what everyone thought of it. it. It would just be such a fun discussion to have and to see if anyone guessed the mystery correctly. So this is by far probably the most well-known popular book on this list, but I still think that if by some chance no one has read it in your book club, it would have been such a good one that I would have loved to read with other people. So, and then there were none, fantastic please, please, even if you're not part of a book club, please go pick it up. It is so much fun. The next one I have is more of a cozy mystery, not so much a whodunit, but still a fun mystery nonetheless. And that is Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Casamino. So this is one that is very popular right now for very good reason. It has this really fun, lighthearted tone throughout that I think would make it a lot of fun to read with other people to see if everyone kind of connected to the main character. The main character is a mother who is recently separated from her husband and has a kid and is just struggling to make ends meet. She is an author so she writes these romantic suspense novels and she's at a Panera with her agent and she's pitching the latest idea for her next novel to her agent at a table while they're having lunch and someone overhears their conversation about, you know, the, the way Finley Donovan is going to try and kill the person in her new book. And they mistakenly believe that Finley Donovan is a hitman. So they hire her to kill someone for them. It is such an outrageous premise, but somehow it works. And it is so much fun. And Finley Donovan, as a mother, with all of these kinds of issues, she's just so relatable in so many different ways and she's so much fun to follow and the shenanigans that her and the other characters around her get into while they're trying to pull this thing off is at times hilarious, at times quite unbelievable, but it's still so much fun. So if you're looking to have a good time, if your book club is maybe not as serious, it's a little bit more focused on the fun and lighthearted, then this would be a really good one. Just to talk about Finley as a character, the actual premise and how well it was executed, it would just be so interesting to hear what other folks would have to say about it. And it is a series, so if you really liked it and 
some of you in the book club wanted to continue on, that would be fun to do as well. So I highly recommend Finley Donovan. I think it was a blast. All right, and then one that I have that's kind of in the middle of mystery contemporary. So it could be for the mystery book clubs, but it could also be for book clubs that just more focus on contemporary or literary fiction. It is called The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Woolley. And this is one that's actually a young adult mystery novel. And the, the reason I think that this would be such a good book for a book club is because the focus on the indigenous tribe that we're following here and the cultural aspect of it, the thematic elements that are tied into this mystery novel, they're just so well done and beautifully explored. We're following our main character who lives on this reservation and she is kind of, she's a high schooler who kind of gets wrapped up into this police investigation that's ongoing about these like drug deals that are happening. And so she is kind of teaming up with another guy to try and figure out the mystery of who's behind all of it. And while you're going along with the mystery, you're also just learning a lot about her life and growing up on this reservation and what that means to be a part of this community. And it's just the, again, the themes that are explored in this one are so gorgeously done. The cultural elements that you get to learn about through this main character are so beautiful. So I just think that this one is a little bit more hard hitting. It's a little bit more serious. It doesn't have that lighthearted tone that like a Finley Donovan would, but I do think it would spark a lot of really, really interesting discussion. And it's just a, a really interesting, well-executed mystery book as well. So it just does so many things so, so well. And even being young adult, I think it can appeal to an older audience as well, just because of how well those thematic elements are executed, the actual cultural tie-ins. It's so, so beautifully told. So I loved Firekeeper's Daughter, and I think that this one would make a fantastic book club selection for any type of book club. All right, and then getting into a couple of more contemporary novels. So not so much a mystery, but ones that I think would just appeal to such a large audience. The first one that I have is more of a lighthearted one. It's called Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Frederick Brockman is a fantastic writer of characters and Anxious People is very much a character driven story where we are following a cast of characters, very eclectic group of people as they are kept hostage in this apartment building by this person who had just robbed the bank across the street. And so you are dealing with people who are being interviewed after the fact and reflecting back on their experience of being held hostage and some of the bizarre scenes and things that happen in this book are laugh out loud funny and the characters are all very much flawed in their own separate ways but you somehow just grow to love them even with some of their very extreme flaws. I just love Bachman's ability to create such diverse characters that all feel so much like real people and <laughs> that you can root for despite them having these pretty big flaws <laughs> about them. It's just so much fun. And this one has a really clever ending that I think would be a lot of fun to discuss in a group setting as well. Uh, so I think that Anxious People it's probably gonna be hit or miss. I think it would spark a lot of great discussion around which characters people liked, which characters people didn't, the reasons behind why, um, but I also think the ending would be a lot of fun. So it's a great one for a book club. It's a great one that could spark a lot of great discussion, but it's also just a good book that is like one of my absolute favorites. So definitely go check out Anxious People. And then the last one that I have is one that is a little bit more hard hitting. Again, not so much for the people looking for a more lighthearted book, but those of you looking for more focus on the themes behind the book. And that is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous story uh, that is following two sisters, two twin sisters, 
both of which are white passing. So one of them decides to live their life as a white woman and one of them decides to live their life as a black woman. And so you're following these two sisters who start out in a very similar situation but have these very, very different paths in life. And you're seeing the differences and in, in how they grow up, how they live their lives and how well off they are. It's so beautifully told and so well executed with its themes. And I love the two sisters so, so much. Like Bachman, Britt Bennett does such an amazing job here with making these characters feel so incredibly real. And even when you don't agree with some of the choices that they're making, you can see kind of why. You can understand them. You can really sympathize with them. And it also focuses a lot on family and the family dynamics that these two sisters have, much more than I was expecting. And I was so pleasantly surprised with how much we explore not only the two sisters' lives, but their families' lives as well. So this was just a beautifully told book, gorgeously written, and I loved the themes it explored. So I think that this is one that, again, would be fantastic for a book club because you have so much to unpack here. You have so much to talk about with characters and with decisions that were made and with the themes that it brings up. So again, this is not one that's lighthearted. If you're looking for lighthearted, maybe not this one, but it's so, so beautifully told. So I, if you're looking for just a great character story, this is one to definitely pick up. So those are the five books I have for you that I think would make for fascinating book club discussions. What is one book that you've read with book club that ended up being an absolute hit? Uh, whether it was because it just sparked so much discussion or because everyone seemed to love it, leave those comments down below. I would love to check out some more books that might be good for a book club. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to, and if you'd like to learn more about how to further support the channel, you can always check out my Patreon with all the information linked in the description box below. I will see you all in my next one and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Mm -hmm.